AHA is a dream uh, started by three of us. Um, uh, myself, uh, my f colleagues um, here, uh, Sri Harish, can you wave your hand? And uh, Mr. Asokan. One in 30s, one in 40s, one in 50s, okay. Um, we uh, attained our entrepreneurial puberty a little late, but uh, it's just, um, you know, it so happens that Richard Branson used to be our uh, inspiration. Uh, so what is AHA? AHA is, um, you know, is a marketplace. It's a private marketplace for large corporates. Um, in, in explaining this a little um, uh, metaphorically, I'm using this um, uh, the slide on uh, Pamplona race. Uh, most of you might have seen in a movie. If you look at the Pamplona race, our customers are the bulls, uh, and uh, we have 800 uh, vendors who chase these bulls, who are our suppliers. And that's the chase we run. And AHA is a marketplace that runs this race day in and day out. And um, what comes out of it is an exciting experience which serves the interest of large companies, companies that are typically 1,000 crores and above. So that made us India's first managed marketplace. You might have heard of sellers marketplace as in Amazon and Flipkarts and things like that, but we represent the buyers. Our buyers are Wipros and TCS and kind of companies. And we are not a representative of Samsung or LG or any of them. So that makes us the first managed corporate marketplace to serve this environment. Our, we kept our focus from day one on large corporates, which are, um, super large corporates at 1,000 crores and above. And uh, we recently, uh, you know, uh, casted our net to 558 crores, which is, which, which is the 1,000th company um, in India, private sector company. So that becomes our target base, which we are trying to sell today. And what we do for these companies is we manage their entire op expense. And now, they may start somewhere, but eventually our aim is to get to all of their op expense, uh, which are product expense, um, and these operational expense spends typically are products that are, uh, uh, for these companies we, we supply them, it could be admin purchases, it could be IT purchases, and there are housekeeping purchases, it could be HR purchases, could be factory supplies, could be healthcare supplies. So we are coming up with a new definition for all this. It's, it's like a fast moving consumer goods segment or FMCG we are coming up with an FMBG, which is fast moving business goods segment. That's our goal at the end of it. And this market by itself is about 20,000 crores in our estimate. Now how we do this is to your left hand side you will find 800 plus vendors who are all vendors who are selected by our customers who end up being our vendors. Um, uh, today by nature of the engagement we have um, signed up with these companies. So we enter into a multi-year agreement with these companies to manage this indirect supply spends. So these spends we talked about, all these verticals, uh, all these um, uh, different categories. And then as a AHA Buyers Club, or ABC as we call it, is the branding we use to represent buyer's interest. So the way we do it is using our technology platform we call Intelligent Procurement Operating System, or IPOS platform. Um, so as part of this platform, each customer has its own private catalog, which is configurable depending on the kind of buyers they have in the system. Then you have controls. Then we give them the analytics as to um, you know, uh, what they're purchasing in a certain zone or a certain branch. You know, they can drill down into any sort of analytics they want on spends or on product consumption, on TAT, uh, delivery uh, t turnaround times and so forth. Then we also give them the entire audit trails. The nature of taxation system in this country uh, requires an enormous amount of documentation to be maintained at all times. And so we have enabled um, to get all of them online. So therefore, this is all available all the time to the end customers. And then added to that is, um, is the SAP and Oracle integration we have built on the system. Now, this is the technology solution. This is itself is not enough um, because for a customer, he doesn't care where the pro you know, if he buys a yellow pad or a white bar, he doesn't care where it comes from. He, what matters is it should come at the right time, at the, at the right place, and should not be any confusion about the product or the product quality and so forth. So in order to ensure all that, we have multiple warehouses across the country and regional teams, 
and we take a pan india uh, a logistic system that reaches around 1800 pin codes today uh, in 4 to 48 hours well let's talk about scaling up uh, I'm taking the example of Indescent Bank, one of our customers here, the kind of engagement we have with and kind of dream we carry because of that. This bank, making a long story short, spends around 3,672 crores in operational expenses. And about 2,436 crores um, is other expenses in OPEX, which is where we come in. We are working alongside the bank to see if 2% of it can be supplied by us, which is about 50 crores. And the, ultimately, our aim is to get it to 7% or so, which will take us to 150 crores. That's with one customer of ours. Now, we have 100 customers today, which are all on the right-hand side of the game. Now, you can imagine the potential we are chasing today as part of this whole thing. If you look at all these companies we are serving, they broadly come under two basic models of working. One is we call multi-nodal corporates, which is a bank, zonal office, and branches, and thousands of branches we serve. And, and without a technology like ours, it's impossible to think of centralizing all these purchases. On the other hand, we have multi-regional corporates. There, the pain points are different. They, we are talking about the TCS and the Wipros, where they have multi um, uh, storied buildings as facilities in each of these cities. 26,000 to 30,000 people working in each facility. It's the product diversity is a problem. They deal with about 10,000 products which they want to buy as part of OPEX. And they have a team of 18 to 19 people handling all this. We're talking about 150 to 200 crores being managed by these 19 people. Impossible to even think of 10,000 products being purchased without a system like ours today. So that's the biggest thing we do. But more importantly, today 62% of these corporates in India have got a chief compliance officer. Guess what? This indirect purchase is a domain where compliance is a major, major issue today. A lot of local purchases, a lot of handwritten bills being processed today. 20,000 bills get processed in some of small banks which have 500 branches today. Imagine non-compliance, non-tax paid invoices being processed as part of this. So we clean up this whole system for these customers today. So that's our core uh, philosophy. I realize I have one and a half minutes left out, so I'll quickly run into this. Our future is going to be, uh, the white area is what we have already covered, which is 10,000 SKUs, and we are focusing on three verticals today, BFSI, IT, MNCs. Our plan is to get on to education, manufacturing, telecom, healthcare, retail, as we walk along this path, and uh, we hope to cross 1,000 crores or so sometime in the near future. It's a very engaging workplace. We have kept it a, a very open workplace, no assigned seats, you know, you would be shocked to hear, we are trying out various models here. We don't have even assigned sales targets for our regional heads, believe it or not. We only have an organizational target, and we have a T20 kind of sc scoring system. You know, each of our branches are called da Delhi Daredevils or um, CSKs and so, so forth. And then we monitor them. Everybody gets a WhatsApp message on where they are exactly on a daily basis. And everybody works towards that common goal. And the result of this last six months, we have been uh, the minimum overachievement we achieved on our targets is about 70 percentage. So this works for us right now. <laughs> and so this is the kind of system we have. What also we have done here is that quickly one moment is 36 seconds left. So regional um, operations are all autonomous branches here for us. So they are mini ahas by itself. NCR is a mini aha. Bombay is a mini aha. The central functions is what is controlled out of Chennai. So when people ask, uh, where are you based out of, I find it difficult to answer because we are based out of everywhere, because it's, a, it's like a Terminator movie, you know, it's all pieces come together. So central functions is where, um, um, is in Chennai, but everything else is regionally managed out here. So it gives the enormous amount of scalability we want. Lastly, some of the proud moments. We have achieved a zero inventory model where near about a just-in-time inventory model is what we do. We still have warehouses. These are transit warehouses where products come in and then they go out within a week's time. So at any given time, you will find an inventory number there, which is not alarmingly high, which is very, very small, but just because of a zero inventory model we use, near zero inventory model. And we have zero, telling you, zero returns uh, month on month. Once in a while, we have one or two returns. So that kind of tells us the kind of systems we have in place and, and the delivery systems and uh, things like that. So, result of which is that um, if you take the switch companies, Satyam, Vipro, Infosys, TCS, Cognizant, and HCL, three of them are our customers today. 
If you take the 19 private sector banks, six of them are customers today. So this is kind of spreading uh, like a wildfire. And I'm sure, you know, we would, um, uh, we have knocked the uh, socks out of even big US corporates like Staples and so many others, um, uh, you know, out there. And so we are most likely on our way to become number one or number two uh, by this year end in this industry. Now, um, having said this, our gross margins are very important. You know, we rely on our fundamentals, which is, uh, I call PPSS, which is profitable, predictable, sustainable, and scalable business. Uh, I've been holding dear to this philosophy for almost all my entrepreneurial life, started from 2001 onwards. So we run a high teen gross margin on all our businesses. There is not a single transaction in our company which is a loss-making transaction. So we are not like some of these big e-commerce companies where we burn money to get business. We don't do that. If that doesn't work, we are willing to wait till um, that situation arises to enroll a customer. So those are all fundamentals we have built. Um, so I can keep talking about a lot of things. So um, we are here three years into the act, and if you represent one of the large companies in India, uh, I would love to work with you, right? Thank you so much for the opportunity.